it's Ayala and it's book haul time. I realized that I haven't uploaded a book haul for like three months and I bought quite a lot of books in those three months. So this is going to be a collective book haul of all of those months but instead of going into detail about which book is about, I'm going to leave down below a Goodreads link for each and every book and instead I'm going to say in least amount of sentences what this book is about and why I bought it so that we wouldn't be stuck in an eternally long video about the books that I bought. Ali Smith, Their Bud For Thee, where a stranger locks himself in a room and I personally want to know what happens. The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Douglas Adams. I really want to know what this 42 business is about. The Great Book of Amber, which is a bind up of books 1 through 10 of the Amber Chronicles, written by Roger Zelansny. I bought this book because this book was stalking me. I saw it everywhere and it was time I took it home and I'll finally learn what it's about because I have absolutely no idea. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, a classic, one of my dad's ultimate favorite classics of all time and I haven't read the book or seen the movie and that needs to be fixed. The Truth About the Harry Kubert Affair by Joel Dicker. This is translated from French and it follows a mystery where this one author wrote this very successful manuscript and then it turns out that maybe that manuscript wasn't so fiction as everybody thought. The Rule of Thoughts by James Dashner. Now we all remember how much I liked the first book, The Eye of Minds, in this trilogy if I'm not mistaken, as you can see. So I want to find out what happens next. Anna Karina by Leo Tolstoy because when I read a book that I absolutely adore and they keep quoting this book, of course I'm going to buy this gigantic Russian classic. The Book of Blood and Shadows. Prague. Nice cover. On sale. Yeah. The Elegance of the Hedgehog by Merle Barbary, translated from French by Alison Anderson. We have an 11 year old genius, a 54 year old concierge with more wisdom than Gandalf and Dumbledore combined, and a Japanese rich man, all together, all trying to discover who they are. Fantastic book, by the way. The Brides of Ron Rock Island by Margot Lanigan, which is a retelling of the original Little Mermaid tale. So we have the sea witch, we have the mermaids, we have the old if you don't succeed in making him fall in love with you, you will, you will turn into foam. I love the original version of the Little Mermaid and so I'm really excited to read a retelling that sticks to the actual story. All and Quiet Things by Anna Yarsap, following two friends who are trying to discover how this girl died. I'm hoping for a kind of Pretty Little Liars kind of book and it was really, really cheap. Becoming Chloe, a kind of let's discover who we are kind of book that's sh super, super, super short and super, super, super cheap. The following book, I'm not sure if I already hauled or not, so I'm just gonna haul it again and you're gonna bear with me if I already did. And that's Sharp Objects by Gillian Gillian Flynn. When everyone was reading Gone Girl, I read Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson and that book was amazing. I didn't see the movie yet, I'm planning to sometime soon. And after reading Before I Go to Sleep, I don't know, I, I didn't feel the need to read Gone Girl, but I definitely want to read some other book by Gillian Flynn, and after Gone Girl, most people say that they like sharp objects, like they're like the second favorite book, so I am definitely excited to read this thrilling, chilling mystery book. The First 15 Lives of Harry August because when you keep repeating your life and then one day a girl comes to you and tells you the world is ending faster than it should, the first question that pops to your head is why? The same with the reader. A paperback edition of Greek Gods by Rick Riordan and art by 
John Rocco, aka what's gonna get me through my withdrawal symptoms after I finally read Blood of Olympus. Next, I have a duology, which is Eon and Iona, both by Alison Goodman. We have a kick-ass female protagonist that knows magic and it has something to do with dragons. Count me in. Night film by Marisha Pezzo. What did I just say? Night film by Marisha Pezzo. Because when Reagan raves for an entire month over a book, you want to be damn sure I'm going to buy it. If you don't know who Reagan is, I will leave a link to her channel down below, Proust Project, and where on earth have you been? This has to do something with a cult. It has really cool graphic pictures inside. So, sounds interesting. Ready Player One. The hype this book got was absolutely amazing. This follows this guy. He lives in kind of like a video game. There's a competition. That's all I know, but it sold the book for me. I'm definitely going to be reading this soon. It kind of reminds me of The Eye of Minds, only for like a more mature audience. Alan Turning the Enigma by Andrew Hodges. This was the book that inspired the imitation game movie. I absolutely adored the movie and I was so moved from the true story that the movie is based upon that I just had to get the book and read the book that the movie is based upon as well. A fun fact that I didn't know when I bought the book is that there's actual pictures of him in the, the book itself. So here is the machine and here is a picture of him. The next book should come as no surprise to anybody because the hype is over the roof and everybody's reading this book and that's The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. S.J. Watson blurbed on the front of the book saying it's a gripping, enthralling, a top-notch thriller and a compulsive read. Next up, I have a trilogy of books that I bought only because Lindsay from Lindsay Ray, who I absolutely adore, suggested it for people who want to get more into fantasy books, and that is the Black Magician trilogy. The first book is The Magician's Guild, the second is The Novice, and the third is The High Lord. From what I understand, it centers around a girl who has this magical ability that's stronger than the magic known in the city that she lives in, and people are kind of afraid of her, and so they want to make her this kind of, like, weapon. Another book that I got because of Lindsay from Lindsay Ray, who I'll also link her, her channel down below in the description box, is a John Scalzi book. If you have seen Lindsay's videos from the last couple of months, you know that she has gotten into and raved endlessly about John Scalzi. So when I saw this book in my local bookstore, I basically pounced at it. And that is Agent to the Stars by John Scalzi. It's this one guy who works in Hollywood, and then his new client is an alien. Accelerando by Charles Strauss. This book looks old, can I just tell you? But it follows a dystopian world. It has to do with biotechnology, nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, basically everything that I love, so I had to pick this book up. We Are Anonymous by Parmi Olson, a book about a group of hackers, and if I'm not mistaken, she even interviewed a couple of the hackers that this book is based on. I'm not sure if this is non-fiction or fiction, but there's hackers. And last but not least is Uncillary Justice by Anne Leckie. Winner of the Hugo Award, winner of the Arthur C. Clarke Award, winner of the Nebula Award, winner of the Lucas Award, winner of the BSFA Award. So, part of my collection now. This is a science fiction book. I think it follows a girl who's like an assassin or has artificial intelligence or something like that. So, it got so many awards, of course it's going to be good. So that's the end of my collective book haul. If you're interested in reading any of these books or finding more information about them, I'm going to be leaving links down below in the description box to their Goodreads pages. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. 
Thank you for watching. I would love to know if you have read any of these books or have you recently purchased some of them. Leave a comment down below and tell me all about it. Thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye.